Welcome back guys and today we're going to be starting a brand new series, kind of like a mini series. Um, so a lot of people ask me how I do certain things in game or how I do this and that. So I figured I'd make a video on how I do those certain things. Um, so the first one I want to do is Master Clue Scrolls. Um, I kind of enjoy them. I think they're really easy compared to Elites and other stuff. So I do a lot of Master Clue Scrolls. Um, so I, I end up helping out quite a few people do the hot and colds or do the um, various you know things you have to do. Um, and I find them pretty easy to do, so I figure I'll make a video on how I do them. They might not be the most efficient, they may not be the best way to do it, but it's how I do it, and it works. I mean, I've like done 30-something masters, so yeah. So without further ado, let's jump into it, and we're going to be going to step one, obtain clues. So to get a master clue, you need four tiers, or one of each tier of clue scrolls. So you need an easy clue scroll, which will be probably easily obtained from hand members, pickpocketing them. It's pretty quick. Um, I tend to do the female ones. I think you get better rates. I'm not positive, but that's what I do. Um, you can also catch gourmet implings um, for an easy clue. I think it's 1 in 25 from a gourmet. And then there's thugs in the wilderness with the ring of wealth imbued. That will get you um, clues as well. For the medium clue scrolls, I think the easiest one to do is eclectic implings. Um, so if you're doing the eclectics, it's, you might as well just catch gourmets while you're doing it. Um, and chances are you'll probably get clue pretty quickly in my experiences. You can also do the Fally Guards, but you have to have, I think, the Medium Diaries done in order to do that. Or you can go to Ice Warriors, which is level 54, or no, 40, 44, somewhere in that range, 44 Wilderness, and kill them with a Ring of Wealth imbued. If you don't have that, it's not going to be really worth it. For the hard clues, um, I think the easiest is going to be um, Hellhounds in the Wilderness. They have like a 1 in 30 something, 33 drop rate, or 1 in 64, something like that, with the Ring of Wealth imbued on. Um, so it's it's quick, but for me, I never get hard clues for them. I don't know why, but I hate them. Um, so I tend to do jellies. Um, they're in the um, Corin Catacombs, and you can barrage them or anything with multi, really, as it is a multi area. Um, and so that gives your chances of getting clues for the second. There's one in 64 there as well. And with barraging, you, you kill like multiple at the same time. So in my experience, it's quicker. Um, you can also do ninja implings if you find them. Um, if not, you can buy them, but they're very expensive. I uh, really wouldn't recommend doing that, but it is one of the alternative options. As far as Elite Clue Scrolls, I think Zilver is probably the easiest way to do it, as you're going to be making a ton of money while you do it. Um, and then Barrows, it's like a 1 in 16, 1 in 20 chance or whatever, getting it from the chest. And then doing Wilderness Bosses with the Ring of Wealth imbued is also pretty good as well. Venonatus, um, Lava Dragons included, Callisto, those type of bosses will drop you an Elite Clue Scroll. These aren't all the options, all the ways to get elite clue scrolls or mediums or hearts, whatever. These are just some of the more popular popular ways, I guess. Um, for elites, another one you can do is um, Slayer Tasks. A lot of Slayer bosses have them, like um, Cerberus, um, also Abyssal Sire, that type of stuff. Those will drop elites as well. But that's how you get the clues, and now let's go into the outfit that I would recommend to wear. Um, so, combination of these. So, Graceful, if you don't have a... If you have a spot open, throw some Graceful on. You might as well have some weight reduction um, while you're running around all the time. Um, Achievement Diary Outfits. These have such good bonuses and such good um, like uses. Uh, the Helm. If you have the Tier 4, you can teleport to Sherlock instantly. Um, it's unlimited too, so that's amazing to have. Um, the Boots teleport you to Fremenic. The Sword can cut through the webs without you know wasting time. Um, so I recommend having that if you do have those, and the higher tiers obviously are going to help you more. Um, if you don't have the two, I, I tend to wear black dehyde top and bottom, um, and I carry the other shit with me if I need it, like the Mortania Lakes 3. Um, those can help you teleport to, like, Bergdorot and shit. But other than that, I don't, like, the top's useless, I think, for clues anyways. So I wear black dehyde top and bottom in case I do run into that, that person in the wilderness with mage that wants to fuck my life up. I have some defense against it. Um, and then there's capes that help you. Um, I know the Artie cape can teleport you to the monastery and stuff. Um, the music cape, if you have it, teleports you right to Fallow. Um, who is, um, he's pretty common, you know, he'll tell you to bring him an item, and this teleports you right there, which takes, um, it saves you a good five minutes or so, in my opinion. Um, so let's jump into what I actually am going to wear. Um, it's a combination of all these, but I'll show you guys what I'm going to wear. So here's my setup. Um, I have my Explorer's Ring 4, my Fremen Sea Boots 4, my Headgear 3, which I don't have 4 yet, I need to do level 5 all bullshit. Um, Karamja Gloves 3, as I can teleport to Shiloh if I need to. My Dehyde Top Bottom Blue Pipe, because if it is a... Depending on what it is, I want to have a blowpipe because I know I'll be able to kill it if it's ranged based or whatever with the armored old shit. I don't know if you, I don't think you get those on these, but I've, it's just a habit I always wear. The range cape, obviously, for that. Um, then I got my gourd for quick tellies if I'm in the wilderness, 
inventory setup. Um, so I bring some scrolls of redirection, some teleport ho to houses, because with the new tellies, it's really easy to have everything in your house. Um, I bring a clue box in case that you know chance I'm in the wilderness and someone tries to attack me, I don't lose my master clue, because I really don't want to do that. It took long enough to get it. Losing it would be just horrible. Uh, my music cape, in case I need to tell you, wilderness sword for cutting through webs. This, in case I need to go to Ardagoon, or this for burger up. And then I know sometimes there's some hot and colds in the um, gnome stronghold, so I bring that just in case. Uh, three stamina pots, three super energies, a couple sharks. Um, and that's pretty much what the inventory is going to look like. I, I turned in the heart already. I've got to turn in these three. Um, so when you um, want to turn it in, Watson is in this house right here, directly west of the bank. Um, so if you scroll out, you can see that this is a Hasidia's house. Um, getting here, you can teleport to the um, house portal. You can also use the this thing, the spirit tree. Where's the house, uh, house portal's there, spirit tree's there. Then you can also use Xerox Talisman, which will put you right here. Um, alternatively, you can teleport to the Great Corn Center and run all the way down to where I am right here. Um, so in this house is Watson. Um, you'll be able to see it on the little map here with the pot and whatever that fucking thing is. So let's run in here, and you're just going to talk to Watson. I think his name's Watson. Yeah, it wasn't. Um, so if you have, you can check to see if you've gotten any clues, in, clues scrolls in there. Um, I still need easy, medium, and elite. So we happen to have those right here. So let's go ahead and give them to him. So you hit space. I've got something. And then you hit five, four, whatever. Hand them all over. And you'll give them on him. And he will give you a master clue scroll. So let's check what we got to do first. Dial of the Bard wants to see you. So for this one, um, you're literally, if you have this cape, you're going to do this. Ta-da! There's Valo. So you talk to him. Okay, what do you want? He wants us. All right, so that's a dragon defender. So if you have the glory on, you can quick tell you to the bank. Grab the dragon defender. Show him. And get the fuck out. Boom! All right, so alternatively, if you don't have the music cape, you'll have to teleport to Cammy and then run out this way. Run over, whoops, run from this way, or you could teleport to the CJR, run down, or the house telly and run down. Um, so this cape really does help you quite a bit. So you're gonna show him the item, he's gonna sing. Oh, whoops, you gotta use it on him. Yes, 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 okay, he gives us another clue, and we're good to go. Now, so that's um, coordinate clues, pretty simple, um, just like hard clues, just like elites, all those ones you just find out where it is. Um, so this one happened to be in the mines. In the dark altar. So to get there, um, there's a few ways you can do it. You can go to Edgeville, run through the abyss, and teleport to the blood altar, and then run up. Or you can use CIS if you have that unlocked here, which is what I'm going to do because I don't feel like going through the altar. So we'll be back when we get there. So if you have OS buddy, it's going to tell you where to dig. If you don't, uh, you can just use a coordinate locator, which you can find on Google. Uh, I'm just going to stand here. Something's going to pop up. Pretty sure it's the Cabbage Man. Yeah. Brassican Mage. Call him Cabbage, Cabbage Boy, which you can't really pray against, I don't think. I really don't think you can, so I don't even try. Um, you can flick this shit if you want to and heal up with Blowpipe. That's another good aspect is you can heal up with it, and if you have the pool, pool in your house, you can recharge your spec instantly and your prayer and your hate points and run. So the new housing update's crazy. Uh, so let's just kill this motherfucker. And... All right, let him die, because if you don't, they're going to tell you you have more wizards to kill. Trust me, I've tried. Um... This one is in the shittiest place in the world. It's actually not that bad. Um, so what I'm going to do is go to my house first, recharge everything, and then we're going to head there. Um, so for this one, you basically need to get caught. Uh, I know there's there's going to be tons of more like ones you guys are going to have compared to what I'm showing you. This is just a simple you know, how-to guide on basically just master clues in general and like how to do them quickly. Um, Hopefully we get a hot and cold so I can show you guys that, and hopefully we get a light, spot, light box so I can show you guys that. Um, so I'll skip right to the end of this fucking shit because it sucks, but you want to get a pickaxe. You don't need one. You can get one there, but I recommend grabbing it anyways. Um, so what you're going to do is run all the way over to this boat, take it over to here, and then you're going to get caught by the um, buyer watch and tell them to send you the mines. All right, so it'll send you up to the top once you've done all that, and you'll see the location is right there. So now you're gonna dig again and get the whatever the fucking name is. I can't say it. Uh, so just um, rinse and repeat. Follow the bar once again. Give me that pure essence. It's on tour. We're gonna do. Um, 
All right, that is a dragon scimitar. So let's grab one of those out real quick. And we're back. Alrighty, let's do this. New clue, what are we doing? Alright, so for this one, it's just simple. Put on some shit and go to the subaltar. altar. So, fuck, I'll go do this one real quick. Hopefully, you get another fucking one after. And once you arrive here, you just do the emote that it asks you to do. And then you kill the double agent who I actually pray against because this motherfucker is like 20s. Because he's 141. Uh, so just rinse this motherfucker and then throw on your shit again, spin, and we will get another clue scroll. Alright. Okay, give me another clue. Alright, this is the one I wanted to show you guys. So, bird beneath the ground, who knows where it's found. Look, if you a man called Jorah, may have the clue. So, if you've done, what's it fucking called? Making history, I believe. Um, yeah, so if you've done making history, you'll get this strange device. And you're going to feel it, and it's going to hurt you, but it's going to tell you kind of what's going on. So it's very cold. So that possibly means that it is um, it is near here on Zaya. So I don't have a... Damn it. Because I don't need that shit anymore. Grab the Zerg's Talisman. Grab a bunch of Monkfish. And let's try the Inferno. I think that's about the same coordinate line. So you're going to hit this again, it's going to tell you the device is warm and warmer than last time. So that's a good thing, this is a pretty easy one. Uh, but now you want to find out which way you actually need to go. So we know it's warm around here, but is it north, south, east, or west? So if you stay on the line, same line that you were on last time, so we checked it right here, right? And it's warm in the same temperature. So if we run north on the same line that we were on, what is it going to tell us up here? So it's warm but colder. So that means we have to go south. So now we rule out that it's north of this longitudinal line right here. So I'm going to run south on the same line, which was right through here. So down here somewhere. doesn't need to be the same line, but it just kind of helps you with accuracy. Uh, so let's hit it again, and it's warmer. So we know it's south. Now let's get to a place where it's sort of open and figure out whether it's east or west. So if we run all the way east, what's it going to tell us? hot and warmer. So now that we know it's not north and we know it's not west. So we know it's somewhere over this way. Uh, so it could, I think there's one by the bank possibly. Um, so we know it's going to be some, somewhere down that way. So we can kind of head at a, um, a southeastern kind of slope and head down this way and um, you know we can check it all the way as we go. Still tell us we're hot and uh, warmer than last time. Very hot now, so we're getting close to the right spot. I'm just gonna eat, eat up a little bit. All right, what are, we, what are we looking at here? Very hot and warmer, so we're still continuing the right path. Very hot, very hot. All right, one second. So we can see that we need to head this way a little bit. Oh, it's getting colder. Um. It might actually be in the Lizard Man Canyon. Well, let's take a jaunt down that way. Because I know it needs to go south. I just don't know if it needs to go east or west. It seems like it's... Cause if I keep going this way, it keep, continues to get hotter and warmer. So yeah, let's go check the Lizard Man Canyon. So now we're incredibly hot and warmer. So this leads me to believe that we're probably going to be doing it down here somewhere. Uh, so let's just run over. I think there's one by one of these pyre sites. Uh, let's check and see what can we get in there. Let's check. Warmer. How do I get in there? Um, where are we? I don't want to get poisoned. Incredibly hot and the same temperature. Hmm. So maybe I need to go. There you go. So it's visibly shaking and burns to the touch. This must be the spot. So a good way to tell if you're going to be fighting three or two is this. 
If it's multi, you're going to have three little bastards come on you. One's going to use range, one's going to use mage, and one's going to use melee. So I recommend throwing up melee, throwing on your um, steel skin, and throwing up um, protect from or eagle eye. Um, then what you're going to do, you're going to dig, and then all these bastards are going to pop up. So kill the me uh, melee first. Or actually, no, you're, you're protecting against him. So let's kill the... Let's kill the um, ranger. Mage is probably not gonna hit on your uh, on your what you call it dehyde. So I think you should be safe with that. Uh, so now that he's gone, we'll take out the mage. Probably should eat up just because you don't want to die. I don't know. Our poisons. We have to watch out for that. I think it only hits eights. Um, so if I was gonna do this differently, I didn't know it was multi or it was gonna be in a multi. I would have brought like a rune plate skirt, um, and that way I don't really have to worry about. Um, it helps me with the range hit at least, and then we have the dehyde to protect us from other shit. Um, so let's turn that on and off, dig, and now we have our casket. Uh, so just like that, we've done our master clue scroll. Let's tell you the house, reset everything, uh, so we don't die from poison. It's probably a quick master, right? I mean, kind of quick in my opinion. But let's go ahead and recharge everything, head to Varrock, so when we get this third edge pick, we can sell it in the GE. So. Now that's how you do a master clue. I guess there was no light boxes. I couldn't really show you that. Um, but I will try to get another ma master. I'll show you guys another video. But let's go for the reward. That's why you do masters, guys. So hope you guys did enjoy this one. I wish I had gotten a light box to show you. Um, they are pretty simple to, to complete. And I think there's quite a few guys out there as it is right now. Um, but basically, just you have the uh, four on screen, which is right now, and you're going to click from A to B, from A to C, from A to D, and you're going to find out which ones turn which on and off. Um, so there's certain ones that will turn certain ones on, certain ones will turn certain ones off. And you want to kind of figure out how you can get the most on at one time, and then from there, now you need to figure out which button turns on those ones that aren't turned on yet. Um, and once there's four to seven or eight left, you know there's only, it's about one or two more clicks until you're actually going to complete it. Um, so I guess I'll try to get one of those uh, maybe in the next video or something, and I'll just link it because uh, I don't. It's going to take me way too long to get a fucking master clue again. Um, so yeah, if you guys did enjoy this, uh, let me know. Uh, is there anything else you want me to show you that how I personally do it, which may not be the most efficient, most effective, whatever you want to call it, might not be the best, but it's how I do it. Let me know, and I'll make a video on how I do shit. Um, so yeah, with that, I guess we'll see you next time.